What's up my dudes, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be featuring the one, the only, the Spitfire. Battle rating 3.0, rank 2, British Fighter. Now, I've been wanting to do the Spitfire for a minute because it's a legendary plane in both War Thunder and in real life. And so I decided, you know, I'd take it all the way back. Not quite to the beginning with the Spitfire Mark 1. Uh, I chose the Spitfire Mark 2 because, uh, as opposed to the Mark 1, the Spitfire Mark 2, they are the same battle rating, but the Mark 2 gets a slightly more powerful engine than the Mark 1. So I decided, you know what, why not? You know, the, the differences are negligible as far as gameplay, but I just wanted the, uh, the slightly better engine. And speaking of the engine on the Spitfire Mark 2, um, it's, it's okay, um, you know, it gets the job done, it does get quite hot, so you have to watch your throttle, um, I've found myself having to lay off wet, uh, for long periods of time, and even having to cut my throttle down to 80 or 90 percent just to get the engine to cool down, and that's only, like, five, six minutes into the match, so, um, you are gonna want to watch your engine, um, temperatures with this plane, it is also armed with eight Browning 7.7 millimeter machine guns, rifle caliber. Um, people like to call them feather dusters, and a lot of people don't like little rifle caliber machine guns in War Thunder. But um, I, I'm going to say that I do. Uh, once you get rid of the uh, the stock belts or even the universal belts, I use stealth belts um, on my 7.7s because they have API and I, um, armor piercing, incendiary, and incendiary. So you don't have any just straight tracer or any regular AP or God forbid you have like just tracer or ball ammunition, like why? So once you get the uh, upgraded belts, they can actually be quite potent. And speaking of potent, the uh, the Spitfire itself is quite a potent aircraft. Um, pretty weak engines, so you're not going to want to be doing too much energy fighting. Um, it really doesn't do well in a vertical space, um, doing loop-de-loops and trying to you know, stall climb for people and stuff like that. That's not what you want to do in the in the Spitfire Mark II, at least. Um, it's it's definitely more of a dogfighter turn engagement aircraft. Um, low to mid altitudes for sure. Um, it can get to high altitudes um, if you push it, but at battle rating 3.0, you're not really gonna get um, that high up. You know, the highest I've gotten is about 12,000 feet to catch a bomber, but that's that's really it. And um, speaking of also this plane being 3-0, you are going to get up tiered a lot because not very many people are playing realistic battles down at, you know, 2-3, 2-7, 3-0. So unfortunately, you are going to get a lot of up tiers, but it is what it is. If you're a decent pilot, you'll be able to make it work out for you. But um, I believe that I have rambled and ranted long enough. So, before I get into the games, I do want to say um, Twitch and Discord links in the description. And we do have an in-game squadron as well for those of you who are interested in something like that. But, but without further ado, let's do. Alrighty, we are here on Kuban against the Americans in a full up tier denoted by... Uh, I thought there was an F4 in here. Might actually be a uh, 3-7 because we got an LA-5 in here and some other 3-7s. Oh, no, it is a full up tier. We got a XP-50 on the enemy team. <coughs> SP-2C going for... JU-87. I don't think the uh, JU-87 is in a position... Or the SP-2C is in a position to do anything. Let's see if we can do anything. Oh, wow! Not bad. Not bad at all. Who said feather dusters don't do damage? Alright, let's see if we can't give this uh, Helldiver some love. Come here, Mr. SP2C. Well, I shot his rudder off. And you are done. Goodbye, sir. So we got 1,600 rounds of ammo left. We've used uh, about 1,200 so far. Two kills on a twin-engine bomber and a dive bomber. Hell yeah. Got a lot of guys down low. Two F4Us, a TV, an Avenger. Interesting. That's a rare sight. 
We got an XP50 up high and a Corsair up high as well. I have confidence that my team will uh, prevail over those two. So I'm going to join this furball down here. Let's go ahead and cut our throttle. Is that P38? No, that's just wing smoke. Okay. TBF is over there somewhere. It's two on three. Bow fighters coming in. JU87 shot down the Corsair. Hell yeah. Oh, this is going to get messy. Well, rip BF109. Alright, I don't want to rip my wings, and I probably will rip my wings. Alright, XP50 is coming in. Let's go after the Corsair here. Sawed his wing clean off. Alright, let's go after this Corsair now. Alright, and he's dead as well. 852 rounds of ammunition left. We got us P38. Where is that XP50? Okay, there he is. Get him, Bowfighter. Bowfighter, please. That was such a give me. You have four 20mm cannons in your nose. Okay. Let's go after the P51. Does he got cannons? He does. Alright, well, he's on fire. And you're dead as well. What's that? Five? Holy crap! Alright, where's that XP-50? There he is. Bowfighter is dead. That's unfortunate. Come on, J87. You can do this. Hell yeah! Good shit, JU87. Alright, who's left? A B-34. <laughs> Eat shit, XP-50 Tard. That's hilarious. I have that plane and I love it. Such a great plane. Alright, there's only a handful of them left, so I'm probably just gonna ground pound and then RTB. See you guys in the next one. GG. Alright, we are here on Kamchatka against the Russians the and the Americans. Looks to be... 3-0. I want to say it is 3-0. Could be 3-3 because we got some P-38s in here. There's an A-36 going low. A MiG-3 that went high for the BV or for the SB-2C. Let's see if we can't nail this uh, A-36. He's going for the BF-109. Hurricane's on him. Hurricane is missing. Couple hits, nothing crazy. Oh, that. Jeez. Oh, yes, good job, Sea Hurricane. Just listening to those uh, Hispanos. Yeah, that's the one with the, uh, the cannons. T 40 is getting it from the KI 44. Got a P 39N. Another P 39N. Going for the SP2C as well. Gonna go ahead and cut throttle a little bit because our engine is getting quite hot, so is our water. Get him, get him, dive bomber. You can do it. There's that other one. Okay, he's probably gonna be a problem. Man, I am not hitting this match. Critted. Where's that other P-39? There he is. P-40. Alright, P-39's cutting away. That other P-39 is still... Not really a problem. Good job, SB-2C. And I'm just not really doing, doing well this game. Let's see if we can't chase down this P-39. This thing's engine does cook quite a lot. You gotta... Stay off the whip. Oh boy. I did crit this guy earlier. Let's see if we can't finally catch up to him and shoot him down. Land ourselves a kill this match. Yay! I killed something. Nice. 
My water is still blinking. Alright. Corsair coming in two miles. Alright, let's go ahead and take our throttle back up. Looks like the Corsair might be trying to fight me. Fight me. Fight me. Fight me, coward. Nothing. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, going defensive. Okay, a little bit of damage. Nothing too crazy, nothing major. Just a little bit of, uh, little hits. Alright, there he goes in the energy fight. Alright, let's see if we can't get him here. Well, that's unfortunate. A little bit of a scuffed game there. Can't win them all. GG. Alrighty, we're here on Frontline Kursk against the Americans and the Germans, and this is going to be messy. I'm thinking 3-7, maybe 3-3 because of Falkwolf 190s. I don't remember what the BR of the uh, the Falkwolf 190A1 is. I think it's 3-3. So that's fun. Not much of our guys are in the battle space yet. We do have a couple guys moving in now. There's a whole lot of red coming this way. SB2C as well. Yeah, we'll just cut him. Looks like he's going to keep going for the hurricane. Put out some rounds towards him, nothing. Alright, we got a major furball developing down here, though. P40 is on fire. Let's go ahead and jump into this right on early. This probably isn't smart, but I'm going to do it anyway. BF109. Alright, come here. Float carburetor failure, no engine injector, so yeah, pitching down you will do that. Well hello there Mr. Falk 190. Oh, hello. I don't appreciate that. Where are you at? There you are. Who just shot at me? Oh, I think it might have been the hurricane. On accident. Alright, well the BF-109 is behind me now, but he is dead. A hit on the Wildcat, nothing major. BF-109 is still above me. A couple of them. Come on, let's get this Hellcat. Not Hellcat, Wildcat, but the hurricane got him. Hell yes. Alright, still got two guys right above me. What's that, two kills? Not bad, not bad at all. How many guys are left? They still have a handful of guys left. Chasing the MiG-3, looks like they're going to get the MiG-3. Alright, well I'm just going to go ahead and ground pound. Those, holy shit dude, those things are huge. I'm just going to do a little flyby of this thing. God damn. That thing is massive. There's a whole lot of different designs for the pillboxes too, it's really interesting. I know I can't kill it, but yeah. That's pretty cool. A medium tank, looks like a Panzer IV. Yep, ooh, and he's got a little dirt embankment in front of him too, that's really cool. It's pretty neat just uh, when you're not getting shot at to uh, take a second to enjoy the beautiful scenery in War Thunder. They really do put a lot of work into the world design, and so it's neat to be able to just take a second to enjoy that. Alright, looks like we're gonna be okay. I should probably RTB, my engine is hot, and I have taken some pretty nasty damage. So, yeah, I'm probably just gonna RTB. Alright, my dudes, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed the Spitfire Mark IIa. I certainly did enjoy flying the Spitfire Mark II. Um, we did have a really good game at the beginning, we had a kind of crummy one in the middle, and then we kind of salvaged it there at the end. And that just goes to show that the uh, the Spitfire Mark II is capable of being all over the board. Um, and it doesn't really matter um, what kind of opponents you're fighting, because 
it's just a good plane and it really does come down to individual pilot skill and positioning and so you know uh, i will i will uh claim skill issue for dying <laughs> i will but it, it's a great plane it needs no introduction it needs no no lecture on its capabilities you know the spitfire is is a sexy plane it's beloved by many and for good reason you know it's a it's a workhorse man it really is and um i love this plane in war thunder there's a whole lot of them if you guys want to see more spitfires let me know because i do enjoy the spitfires a lot in war thunder so um yeah before i leave you guys twitch and discord links in the description in game squadron for those of you who are interested and i will see you guys in the next one peace out